Good evening and welcome to Dynamic Transformations. This is your host, Mark Patterson, and tonight we have back with us uh, Darshini, Darshini in spirit, a uh, British medium. Darshini, are you with us tonight? Yes, I am. I'm back here again. You're back here again? Well, is, is there a sigh of relief? I mean, can the people that have been praying for world peace, can, can, we, do we, have a, a, can we pause a moment with the, uh, the election results of Obama or... Um, do you want to make any comments on that? Well, you know, uh, you know me to be somewhat brutally honest about things, right? Right. Now, even though it is definitely the direction that uh, Spirit is guiding us to, and by the way, um, on a side note, uh, I, I don't, a lot of people were asking, and I asked a long time ago, why was it that we had to have an administration that put us so much in debt, et cetera, et cetera. And do, do you feel you know that answer? I think listeners are wanting to know that. Why? Yes, yeah, I think all, all of us like to know that, yeah. Okay. Um, the message I got clearly is that how can change happen if nothing is really recognized as a situation that is so bad it needs to be changed? Mm. Um, what happens is, if they don't take us to the worst possible scenario, which in a way we are in, economically, um, I don't want to say politically, but really economically, definitely with uh, terrorism on our doorstep, and um, the um, economic change, the stock market, uh, you know, the housing, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, we wouldn't want to change because I hate to say it, we are so. Um, comfortable in a certain amount of our comfort zone, mm -hmm. even we'll take uh, battering to a certain extent, but they pushed us over the, the cliff, I think, um, I, I don't know if you agree with us, but uh, it's very nice, but they literally pushed us over in the last um, 18 months, uh, right, right. Pisces. So in other words, they had to take us into the worst possible spot for us to actually activate all these people who did eventually vote for change, right? Right, 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 right. These people would not have um, even been activated or um, be cognizant of all of this if things hadn't gone to be this bad, got it to be this bad. Trillion dollar debt and God knows what else per day on the war, um, other than just poor lives of our own people dying there uh, and, you know, obviously on the other side, innocent people. Um, I'm not talking about a terrorist, of course. So um, basically, they had to bring it into a hardline situation. Reality will wake you up um, in a black and white way more than anything else. Uh, am I getting a bit too uh, a bit too intense here? But no, it's okay. No, um, but you know, I did I didn't read that. You know, and I know that uh, you know Jerry Nestor Hicks, Darcy, you talked about contrast. You know, how would you know what was good unless you knew what was bad? And they, yeah. they make that argument a lot. Um, anyway, Darshini, if it's okay with you, we do have a caller yeah. on the a line, uh, area code 951. Uh, caller, you on the air with Mark and Darshini. Yes, hello, Mark. Hello, Darshini. Hello. I'm calling from, I'm calling from California. Oh, great. Yes, and I'd like to see if uh, uh, who steps up and I have information on my court date for December 16 at 8.30 in the morning with my attorney, Sylvia. Okay, now who steps up in, I'm sorry, you were cutting out a bit. Could you just repeat that? Yes, I have a court date. Here. Mm -hmm. Yes, I have a court date on December 16 at 8.30 in the morning uh, with my attorney. His name is Sylvia. I like who steps up and says anything. Okay, um, is there a possibility of the court date being brought forward? I don't um, that's what I'm seeing. Quite frankly, I see the court date coming in a bit earlier, not too far, but at least about five to six days earlier for some reason. But it's to your advantage. Your lawyer may not be quite prepared, but um, you do believe in spirit act being active in your life, correct? Yes even though you're a bit jaundiced at the moment, I feel. Um, there are a lot of things that haven't gone well with you in the last 
school 13 months, is that right? Uh, yes, correct. Okay, so basically um, things are happening for reasons which obviously when we're in the middle of something, especially in a fire, which I feel that you are, um, you're still very mad about the situation. But um, please, I, I tell everybody, all my students and anybody I read for, you have to ask for help. If you don't ask for it, you don't get it. But I do feel that it will be brought forward at least a minimum of three days. Don't fight it, even though you're very methodical, aren't you? You're pretty methodical. Yes, yeah, correct that. Okay, so really, this might upset you, but see it as actually a blessing, because you're going to see a different judge in front and will be far more sympathetic for you. You're going to, um, there, I see two more court dates, but that is kind of, um, uh, it's going to be not as intense as this first one, and this will really set the tone for the rest of them. Does that make sense to you? Uh, yes, it does. This has been going on for a while, and... Uh, About eight and months or so. Uh, yes, exactly. Yes, it has been. It's been going on since it was... <laughs> Yeah, they don't mess around. They always give a specific date. But basically, you don't need to worry about it, but you have to believe they are working in your best interest. And you've grown a lot. Whether you believe it or not, you have grown incredibly. They're very proud of you. But sometimes you get to be so stubborn, you don't see the answer in front of you. Is that a possibility? Uh, yes, it, yes, it is. That's my nature. I, 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 never, I, ne I never trust my first gut feeling. And you know what? You've got a very high intuition. Your mother, actually, it's your great grand, great grandmother on your mother's side who's around you, and you ha have inherited her intuition. But you've been so methodical, and I think that's really. Um, were you, um, your grandfather on your father's side, was he around you a lot? Uh, no, he wasn't. Uh, I was, I was about five years old when he passed away. But he seems to be around you a lot, but there's a lot of influence there on the father's side for you to be responsible and grown up and um, organized. On your father's uh, side, yes, he was a businessman. Um, yes, see? Okay, that kind of influence kind of grounded you a bit too much. But please trust your instincts. You're going to get a lot more insight in your life next year, around about February, is going to change drastically, for the better, by the way. Uh, but not until March will it take off, okay? Yes. Um, thank you very much. And you're right. I've, I've been seeing color like blue and purple, uh, gold, yellow, and a rotating red. Yeah, that means you're actually in change, and you are being more receptive to, to um, the, this connection. You're getting a lot of information in your dreams, even though you seem to be blocking it again. I'm afraid. Trust your instincts. And your lawyer is a bit, not as tough as you'd like him to be and aggressive, but tr it'll be okay. Just uh, see that it will, uh, the, as I said, the court date is going to be brought forward for some weird reason. Um, but everything happens for a reason. Okay? Yes. And the other party, what do they feel? Because they just got the petition, I think, ye yesterday or the day before yesterday. They're kind of lost. They don't know what to do. They don't, they're not very cognizant about um, law by the look of it. So they are a bit scrambling at the moment. Does that make sense? Uh, yes, yes, because they're not savvy when it comes to the law. They, they rely on somebody else all the time. Yeah, and that's what's going to hurt them. But you don't, you know, you don't need to be too aggressive, even though you want to be and go for the jugular in a way but it's okay. It, it will sort itself out for the best, as long as you remember it's the highest good, okay? Okay. Okay. Well, you're very good, and uh, I, I feel a very good energy with you. Oh, all thanks right. so much. That means a lot to me. I appreciate it. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Blessing and light. Oh, same to you. Keep safe. Mark, may I yes. get back to your first question? I didn't answer it, and I got sidetracked, and I do apologize. But um, what you're saying is that you're, uh, you know, because of the Obama in the administration, but, you know, this is something that, um, you know, I didn't really want to talk about, but obviously it's going to be a hot topic tonight. And that is, for the first 18 months, he's got a huge, huge, tough fight on his hands. 
And I don't know if that's what you feel, you know, or you're feeling the same thing. But for the next eight months, it's going to be the most grueling he's ever had. It he hasn't even really been tested. But from now, even through the inauguration, but eight months from now, it's going to be pretty high and intense for him. A lot of attacks. Um, when people actually fully absorb it, the other side, there are a lot of people who are going to get uh, reactionary. Um, so after that, after the initial eight months, it will start settling down. But um, then you can start addressing the economy. I hope that helps a bit. Yeah, sure. I, I think that's I think that's a very uh, valid argument and a uh, valid point. Now, um, as you know, I just uh, I came back from Egypt and had some pretty uh, profound experiences. Uh, especially in the, as we always do, in the uh, King's Chamber. And one of the things that you recommended that I do as we were landing into Cairo was to to visualize things that I wanted to happen as if they were happening now. And I just want to let you know that I, I did do that. For whatever it was worth, I did spend about 20 or 30 minutes as we were coming into Cairo to uh, visualize those things. But it downloaded quite a bit of information to you, right? Yeah, it was it was pretty, it was a, some profound experiences of it. It was very good. So lucky. <laughs> I One have, day I, I'll be there with you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, earlier this year we had you on and you t talked about the floods and you talked about uh, different things. And, you know, we've had quite a year. We had 1,400 tornadoes. We had record floods in Iowa. My mom lost her home in Iowa. Yeah, so uh, are we coming out of the cycle or is, some, is something better unfolding? Are we starting to shift consciousness so that we can uh, go into a better place? or No, I'm afraid not. Um, we are just like uh, an earthquake can affect change in land mass, mm -hmm. so is what the energy is doing in the next 22 months. And um, as you know, I, most of the time I don't remember what I'm saying, <laughs> don't remember what I've said, but um, I hate to say it, um, from February onwards, we're going to see far more twisters. And um, within the mid, uh, mid states, Midwest states, and even more towards the East Coast, I'm afraid. Um, and that's not exactly prevalent, but it's getting more unstable. Um, we've got a lot of reactions uh, coming in from the polarized caps and everything else. But again, what is it doing? It's making us aware of all the cause and effect of everything, right? Right, 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 right. And um, the cause, obviously, is us being um, selfish and only, well, I'm talking about man, but what we're doing to the environment and um, obviously the uh, polar ice caps and everything else, it has to uh, have some kind of repercussion. But I hate to say it, it is going to intensify. Um, next August is not going to be very good. Um, and then I'm talking about more, even in Europe, it's going to be affected. Um, I'm seeing uh, towards Russia, as far as extensively as Russia, um, all kinds of weather changes where it's usually cold, it 